channel is Dr. Cinema again. You may be sick of me, but I am here to stay for an indefinite amount of time, I suppose. I don't know how long I'll be on here. But I wanted to bring up a question about the horror genre. Why aren't there more heroes? I mean, don't get me wrong, there have been don't get me wrong, there have been plenty of strong protagonists in many films, including Nancy Thompson of Nightmare on Elm Street. Andy from Child's Play. I mean, there have been a lot of strong protagonists that did fight back against the killers or the antagonists. But as far as iconic heroes, we have a very small handful. I mean, you've got Van Helsing, the vampire hunter. You've got Ash Williams of the Evil Dead franchise. Ellen Ripley from the Alien franchise. But as far as other than those three, there aren't really a lot of iconic heroes. I mean, you could argue that Dexter Morgan from the Dexter TV show are, is an iconic hero of the, fran of the genre, but he's still really a killer in sort of like a more traditional serial killer way. And you could argue that the Walking Dead protagonists are sort of in the way their own iconic heroes, but it's not really... That's... Saying that they're in their own way iconic heroes isn't really enough, so I want heroes that are just as iconic as Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees. Why don't we have more of those? Why? And it, even though I would like more, I can understand why the villains actually get more attention. You see, horror is all meant to draw upon real life fears of the real world and portray them in sort of like an exaggerated or terrifying way on the big screen. So of course they want the villains to be the most remembered part of their movies because their image will sear into your mind to remind you what was so scary about it, what the fears were, and it's just more impactful. And that's why the horror genre is actually sort of really unique from other different kinds of genres such as science fiction, drama, or the superheroes, of course. Because while those iconic characters from those genres represent like the goodness and such, horror is all meant to be what makes us afraid, what makes us scared, and the real world fears in physical form. That's how the genre is supposed to be impactful on the entire cinema industry. And there are, like I said, that we have a small handful of heroes that we root for. I mean, Ash Williams taking that chainsaw hand. Ugh, that's awesome, right? Yeah! But the focus isn't really on the heroes. It's on the villains. It's on the killers, the monsters. So, as much as I would really like more iconic heroes... The focus is really supposed to be on what scares us, and that usually associates with the antagonist of those kinds of movies. Now, there have been, now apparently there is a reboot of Spawn coming out that's supposed to be a lot more horror than it is with superhero genre characteristics, and it's being produced by Blum, Blumhouse, Blumhouse, the studio that gave us, the production studio that gave us Paranormal paranormal activity, and get out. So, that's probably going to be more of a horror film than a superhero film anyway. But, again, if you're like me and you want more badass characters in the genre, there are there in individual movies and such, and while we do have some iconic ones that are associated with the genre, the focus is really on the villains, but that doesn't mean you can't like the protagonists of the films and root for them as they struggle against evil. And that's sort of my explanation of why there aren't as many heroes in horror than there are villains. And this is Dr. Cinema. If you're watching this on the day that I recorded it, then this is probably the last one for today. Like, comment, subscribe, share. See you next time.